Hello friends, welcome back. In our last video tutorial, we saw what is Amazon Route 53 and how we can register to get our own domain. So today in this video tutorial, we'll see what is website hosting. We'll see how we can host our static website using S3 bucket and that is absolutely free. So let's start. There are a few steps needs to be followed. The first step is to register a domain name. Example, from .com, or you can give your name .com, or any business name. Then what you have to do, you have to create two S3 buckets. Uh, the first one should be your domain name. Suppose that your domain name is ranjitswine.com and your first bucket name should be ranjitswine.com and then second, it should be www.ranjitswine.com, your domain name. In the third, you have set up the A records in the hosted zones. So the first one is uh, we have already uh, seen in our last lecture uh, using Route 53 how we can register our own domain. So this is done. Next, we'll create two S3 buckets. So let's move on. Log into your AWS Management Console, go to Services, and you can find S3 under Storage. Let's go there. And we have to it under create bucket to create new bucket so i have already created uh, uh, two buckets on my name by ranjitswine.com and www.ranjitswine.com so you can you can go ahead and uh, create bucket hit on the create bucket and give a bucket name suppose uh, the website name is ranjitswine.com you can give as ranjitswine.com Remember, I cannot create this bucket because the bucket I have already created and the bucket name is globally unique for all the region. So if a bucket is already created, I cannot create the same bucket. Here, as a AWS region, you can select the region, whatever region you want to create and this nearest to you. For me, it is a South one that is a specific, a specific Mumbai. There is already a tutorial being made uh, how to create buckets using S3. If you are new to the AWS and you want to uh, know how to create the S3 bucket, I would suggest you please go through that video first. The link is given in the description below. You can just go through that and see how we can create the buckets. So go through that and similarly you have to create two buckets like ranjitswine.com and www.ranjitswine.com. Uh, then uh, what, what you have to do inside the bucket, you have to place all your application or website related files that is your website may require some css uh, files or some html files index.html or uh, any other pages and you can place all the javascript related files and the images so all these files whatever related for your website you can put it everything over here okay remember you have to place all these details in ranjitswine.com right your domain name, the bucket name, which contains only your domain name, you have to place all these files inside that bucket. Okay. After you uh, put uh, all these files, you have to make this bucket as publicly accessible. That is only you have to give the read permission. Otherwise, this bucket will not be visible globally and people cannot access your website. Remember, you have to give only public read access. No write, nothing. So, uh, what you have to do? So, first, in our first bucket, we get all these uh, files and uh, let's go and create another bucket. So you have to go and create another bucket that is called uh, uh, www.ranjitswine.com means www.yourdomainname and in this bucket, you don't have to place anything. Why we created these two buckets, uh, let me explain you. Because whenever, if you are seeing right, people used to give uh, your domain name. Suppose your domain name is ranjitswine.com. Some people will try uh, type ranjitswine.com, and someone will, some people will try type www.ranjitswine.com. If someone types ranjitswine.com, so the domain will get resolved into this pocket name that is ranjitswine.com, and it has all the necessary files to open the website. So if someone opens this one, so what will happen because it does not have anything inside the bucket. So we do the setups to redirect this bucket to the original bucket that is ranjitswine.com. So let's see how we can do the static website hosting. 
So just click on your bucket name and you just go to properties. In the properties, if you go down, you'll see one option called static web static website hosting and you can host your website using the bucket here if you see what it says use this bucket to host a website or redirect a request as this is our parent um, as this is our parent bucket that is uh, the domain name.com what we can do we can just make this bucket as our web so what we'll do uh, so uh, you can just click on edit or if it is new it will uh, you'll give an option called create okay so it is uh, let me show you how you can uh, create or edit this one just hit edit and here you can see there are options are uh, given like static website hosting uh, enable or visible so i have you have to enable it select enable and here hosting type so in the in this bucket we have to host a static website so select static website and then you have to give the index document remember whenever you type any website name in your web browser it will first look for the index file and then i have created one error.html file and in case this is the index.html did not work to throw this error html so you can give this index.html as your uh, host name default page for this website okay and uh, now after that what you have to do you have to save it once you save it your uh, website hosting on this bucket is done okay now move on to the next bucket so in this bucket what we have to do we don't have to host anything so we have to just redirect we have to just redirect the request to the parent bucket so what we have to do just go to the static website hosting and here select static website hosting enable and you can see here hosting type this time we have to choose redirect request for an object that means we are redirecting the request to another bucket or domain so here is the host name which host name the target bucket website so you can give the host name where you want to redirect the request and the protocol options one and make and the save it now the bucket creation and static website setup is done now let's see what needs to be done next. So now the create two buckets is completed. Remember the bucket name should exactly same as the domain name. So next what we have to do, we have to set up a records in the hosted zone. So let's start, go to route 53. In route 53 dashboard, you can see DNS management and here the hosted zones, click on that and you have to create the hosted zones so i have already created the hosted zones for my domain name if you are new and you're going to create just hit on this create hosted zones and you have to give your domain name suppose my name the domain name is rangeswine.com you can give your domain name.com and description you can give any description about your domain or you can leave it as optional so next uh, whether you want it to be a public hosted zone or private hosted zone. So it is public hosted zone, select public hosted zone, and give it tag and create hosted zones. So when you hit create hosted zones, it will create few records for you and set up. If you click on that, so you'll see one hosted zone details like this. Okay. You, by default, it will when you create uh, when you hit uh, create the hosted zone, it will create the NS record, SOA record, and the text record, SOA record, and NS record. Then you can add to redirect your request to that S3 bucket. You have to add the A records. Okay, so we have to set up the A records. Here you can see the A records for me. I have already set up this A records, two A records for uh, one is for domain name.com that is runsitron.com and www.domainname.com and here if you see here the type a records both of them are a records and the well the value if you saw the value is uh, and if you see the route traffic to the s3 bucket domain name okay so how we we'll do the create records you just hit on this create record and uh, you have to select the record name here if you see here uh, here is given to give something like the record name uh, i don't want first thing you have to create two records 
So first is your ranjitfine.com, your domain name.com, and you don't have to specify here anything. And then it should be your record type A and the value. The value you have to get the bucket details, right? So remember the bucket you have to give as S3 type in website. Okay, remember and then dot then your region name. So my region is AP type in south type in one then dot what do you have to give name then Amazon AWS.com. So this is what you have to provide in your uh, in your value section in your value section so that the traffic whatever will come to ranjitswan.com it will redirect the traffic to this bucket okay and then here detail seconds we can select 300 and routing for is simply routing and hit create records so it will create records so let me show you my record whatever is created already so it's like this one and if you see here in this uh, right hand side record details and uh, uh, here record type and the value you can see is the website and uh, amazon aws.com everything is set up here so like that you can create this bucket as well to select create record and this time you have to give www then it will be given dot domain name dot com okay now what happens same thing you have to specify here s3 website dot ap south type in one dot amazon aws dot com same thing you have to give it here as well only the thing is you have to give a record name as a www.ranjitswami.com or www.domainname.com and routing policy you can give a simple routing to the second you can give a 300 or based on your requirement you can provide it here so now what we did we created both of the records so our setup the a record is now completed so now what we'll do we can get the uh, domain name and go to the browser and hit ranjitswami.com and then see the website will open immediately in this way you can set up your static website absolutely free using amazon s3 bucket hope you understand clearly how to create a domain using the qt3 and how we can host our static website absolutely free in using amazon s3 buckets if you have any doubt or any questions uh, you can um, comment me in the comment section below if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe you'll get notified when i add new videos 